Well, welcome to Rosselaer and Belgium to the Golden Ring Cage Bird Society's annual meeting. And all you can say, this is a phenomenal show. It's an absolute pleasure to be here with Dirk Dumont and Mrs. Dumont. Thank you. Thank you. A an amazing show. You must, you must be very, very pleased. Yes, of course we are pleased. Every year it's uh, bigger and bigger, and that's why we do it. We work a whole year for uh, the show, and I think uh, this weekend is very an important. Abs an absolute credit to both yes. of you. Lo yeah. Lots of hard work, lots of hard work. Yes, yes. Yeah. all year. But lots of smiling faces. Yes, yes. everyone is happy, every everyone is uh, tevreden because of it. Yeah. Happy, content, yes. yes. When did you become president? I was president, I think it's nine years ago, before we had a president who was owner of a big factory of uh, pet shop pet products. Food. Oh, pet food. Yes. Pet yeah. food, yes. And nine years ago he was too old, he said, and then I take his uh, job. So a younger man took over? Yes, yeah. a younger man, but I'm looking for a big, uh, younger man. That <laughs> <laughs> to take over now? No, well, one. no, you need to carry on, you have the experience, you're uh, doing a wonderful job. No, 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 we have no candidates. <laughs> but we want to share our experience, but we need younger people to take over. We need younger people, but we don't have younger people. Now, has, has the show always been in, in these surroundings? No, before it was in Ypres. In Ypres, oh yeah. Yes, but the hall where the show was going on was sold. So we had to move to another place and this was the best suitable place to come. Yes. It's a very yeah. good place. It it's is. A very big hall. A wonderful road connection. Easy yes. To find. Big right. parking. Yes, lots of parking. Yeah. Now come on, uh, somebody told me yesterday, thousands of people are on. How many were here yesterday? More than 3,000, 3,500, yes. something me. like that. So you've had a, a, an awful lot of people here. Yeah. O over how many days? Four days? Two days. No, two days. Two days for the It's public. only Saturday and Sunday for the public. For the public. Yeah. But, but the, the birds arrived four days ago? Uh, yeah, they arrived on Wednesday. Wednesday. On Wednesday. So and on Thursday there's the judging. Yeah. Friday we prepare everything, Saturday and Sunday it's the big party. Oh, well, I like the sound of the party. Yeah. Now, uh, we're going to be doing the presentations in a, in a moment. Mm. Now, how many presentations are there and, 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 and what's, the, what, what's the key to the presentation? We, we, we were talking about the, 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 the gold medal. The gold pin. The gold pin. One nine, golden pin. Ten, but ten golden rings. rings. Golden rings. Every section, yeah. colour canaries, uh, posture canaries, European fauna. Hybrids, exotic, exotics. In each section, there is one gold ring, yes. one silver ring, and one bronze ring. But the winner of the whole, the, the overall show, show yes, yes. with his ten best, best birds, birds, who has m the most points, yes. the maximum point is 94, who has 90, 40, for example, is the winner of the show, and he receives uh, a gold golden pin. And do we know who the winner is yet? Yes, yes, yes. yes Dirk Leerman. Dirk Leerman. Dirk, Dirk, it's a Belgian He's from Antwerp. reader. From He's from Antwerp and he has posture canaries. He's judging the world shows and uh, this year he said I come to very good to reader. Very won. good reader, very good reader. One thing you'll notice at the show, there's a fabulous array of lovebirds with lots of new mu mutations. I always think the fishers in their traditional form a really very pretty bird indeed. One of, one of my favourites is the, the black mast lovebird. I always think they're rather a pretty little bird. Goodness me, I can remember when uh, Abyssinian lovebirds were, were extremely rare. Then we come on to the little parakeets, little small, very, very pretty little birds. We've got them in the traditional green, and then we've also got them in the in the blues. Just so dainty, very nice, very nice to see. Well, Rob, it's, it's great catching up. How, how did you get on with the birds? Oh, I've been really pleased this time. Each, each time I've tried, I've I kind of learnt a little bit and improved a bit and this year I sent it with a gold medal so I'm absolutely thrilled to be honest. I'm <laughs> I should think you would be. Yeah, yeah that's, that's kind of, and, and beyond that I've been fortunate as well, got silver and a bronze. But the nice thing is what I've seen is the quality of the lizards, I think overall is pretty good and that's, that's the important bit that we yeah. come out here to try and, you know, we, we compete against the same chaps in England so the idea is to try and come here and, and find some other other competition really and, and we're learning a lot from, from these guys in Europe. They, I think they're a lot further ahead than us. I, you know, I do honestly believe that. We're, we're almost like if we come here with a, a view that we want to embrace the fancy and 
they're more than happy to learn and that's I think that's what's elevated my birds up personally I think I've I've been given advice and guidelines how to achieve little bits we need and I think in the end and, and like I say, the results are there to be seen. We've done well at the World Show last year. This year, it looks like, again, an improvement. So, that's, that's fantastic. Gary, you've been involved in this a long time, and you've been very instrumental, um, you know, getting all these guys to bring their birds over. I mean, A, you must be really pleased, but, I mean, it's, it's the quality in the numbers, isn't it? Yeah, the, the quality uh, in, in mainland Europe is, is very high, um, but it's, it's the numbers of, uh, with the quality. You, not only have you got um, one or two quality birds, you've got whole classes of quality birds. So, and, if, and, and that's you know, the thing. And in the classes, it's not sort of one or two birds, is it? You know, twenty, no, thirty, no. four. I mean, enormous classes, yeah. aren't they? Well, when you go to the world show, you're looking at two hundred in a class. Which, so, if you're in the medals, then yeah. you've really done. You've done, you've done your work, haven't you? Yeah, I had that in Hasselt this year, didn't yeah. I? I had um, a one. I sort of got silver, but in a class of fifty-three. I mean, and that, that would be, you know, in England, a lot of the shows, we don't even get 53 in total. Yeah. And that's just one class. Yeah, that's yeah. Like, and, and, you know, to be honest, the, the standard, I think the lowest points in that was like 90 points, which, you know, would be a very good quality bird in England. Yeah. So, you know, that's absolutely fantastic. Well, I, yeah. well, I think you're going to have to give everybody lessons after first, second and third. <laughs> Goodness me, gold, silver, bro. All I can say is absolutely fantastic. Well done, sir. Gary, your success gold medal you must be very very pleased with the outcome of the, today's show yeah I've been very lucky at uh, showing here um, last three years I've been in the medals um, but this year I'm back on with the gold again um, after a, only only getting the bronze last year <laughs> a bit disappointed but um, yeah I'm, I'm quite happy with what I've done today and I mean you know this little, this little bird here I mean beautiful condition um, just explain to, explain to the viewers what is it we're looking for well, we're looking for something that's really, really small. We're looking at something that's about four and a quarter inches long, no longer than that. Um, nice and round. At the moment, it's not um, performing as well as it could. It's, it's pulling itself in a little bit. But it should be like a little ball, little fluffy ball. Yep. Um, with like a marble as a head. Um, slightly up on its legs, but nice and clean. I mean, beautiful. Fish. Yeah, and, and, right, and the condition right. is a lot to do with it as well. So come on, what, explain to me the point system. What are we looking at as a joke? Well, uh, the, the main of the points is, is you've got 25 points for size. So you're not looking for a large bird, you're looking for something that's small. Um, really, that's, that's the main of it. Yeah. Yeah, and, and it's got to be round, it's, the shape is, it's got to be round. So, so, we're gonna, so we, we've got the 25 points on the body. Yeah. Where, did, where are the other points made up of? Well, you, you have uh, wings, um, the tail, the feet, condition. It, 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 every little piece of the bird has got a certain amount of points. And those but, points and total up to the... To they, they, add, the they add up to, to 100. 100. Yeah. But and the maximum you can get is 94 points. Oh, really? Be because the, uh, the judging organisation feel that there is no such thing as a perfect bird. Oh, okay. So they say 94 is your top bird. Well, luckily, this one's got 93. Has it so, really? Yeah, so it's um, done fairly well. Well, when it comes to hand-painted birds I always think the Gouldian finches fit that bill it just looks as if they've been painted with a very very fine paintbrush they're just absolutely stunning colors yeah, and in such beautiful condition as well I always feel quite interesting when they sit on the perch and then they sort of tip their head to one side and give you that sort of a very inquisitive look Wilfred here at the show you've had a phenomenal success with your uh, Lancashire's and I have to say uh, it's some a fantastic some breeding there how long have you been breeding them? Yes, I am uh, yeah, now uh, 35 years I breed Lancashire's. The first Lancashire's I buy in England. Did you? Yes, I buy from Mr. Dodwell, possibly of highway come in England. Uh, that was... Uh, no, no, that must the, have been a long time ago. Yes, yeah, uh, 35 years ago, yes, yes, yes. And afterwards, yes, I go to Mr. Plump in England. And uh, afterwards I, I take birds from Germany. And now, yes, uh, from Italian, I make change with Italian people sometimes because Lancashire, if you see the history of the Lancashire, it go up, go down, go up, go down. And I think at the moment, at the moment we are on the maximum and we go a little bit down. Yeah. Because I saw in the past, in the past years, uh, more longer birds, 
And that's the problem, the, the length of the birds. It isn't enough. At the moment, it isn't enough. But Is it not? No, no, no. Well, I have to but say this. I am a critical person. <laughs> You're very critical because yes, some yes, of those yes, birds yes, are absolutely yes, phenomenal. Yes. Yeah, yeah, okay. Um, I, I, just, just talk to me about the, the, the ones that we've got up here. These are a, just over a year old? Yeah, one year old. One, one year, year old. old, yes, yes, yes. Um, and I see this one here is um, has got a gold. I mean, that's a wonderful bird. Yeah, it's a, it's a good bird. It was one of, uh, I showed that in the World Show in Hassel this year in the, in the World Show. And he has also good points. And this bird, uh, the Corona, it's also an overhead bird. It was one of the, of the winners on the, on the Mondial in Hassel. A lovely bird. Oh, lovely, a lovely bird. Good, now, good type, good feather quality. Yeah. What points do we have on that? It's yeah. 97, I think, isn't it? Yeah, 91, 91 at the moment. Yes, 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 yes. Okay, yeah. Okay, what's your favourite bird? Uh, this uh, is my favourite bird. Yeah? Yeah, but also, yes, yeah, depending judging, and depending the moment of the judging, but, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. but I am happy with this bird. Yes, yes, yes. And, yes. and have you had some good breeding seasons with the Lancashire? Yes, I breed with about 30 pairs, and I have about 90 youngsters. Oh, that's good. Yeah, I am happy. Yes. I am happy with the results, yes, but of, as I said, we are looking for longer birds because if you see the the story of the Lancashire it must be more longer but finally uh, a last point I am Lancashire it's an English type yes and I am very happy English uh, the English community they don't accept variated uh, oh, but that was going to be my next question. Yeah, because I noticed that we've, there's no variegated in no, here. No, no variegated. Uh, Only right. white and yellow. Yes. Yeah. And I think I am happy that England accepted the old standard. Yes. Because in Belgium, in Germany, in Italy, there's a lot of variegated they, 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 they here, ask they ask for accepted variegated birds, and for me, I am happy English. No, no, no. They, they have been very, very happy. true to yes, standard, yes, haven't they? Yes, yes, yes. Well, Wilfred, well, well, thanks very much indeed for explaining yeah. it. An absolute okay. pleasure. I, uh, your birds are absolutely phenomenal, sir. Okay, thank, thank you. you. Well, one of the zebra finches that's caught my eye is a gold, and uh, Head's the breeder. Uh, Head, uh, is this this year's bird? Yes, yes, yes. Your yes. bird this Yes. How many other birds do you have? Uh, 100. 100? Oh, no. <laughs> How many birds do you have in the show? Uh, 25. You have 25? Yeah. Uh, how many gold? How many gold? How many uh, silver? Two my gold and uh, I'm my bronze. Oh, congratulations. Thank you. We have some very good stock, <laughs> sir. Yeah. Thank you. I mean, there you go. That's a local breeder. And, and as you see, some of the stock here is just absolutely phenomenal. I don't think I've ever seen so many quality zebra finches. We have a, a lovely white hen up there with uh, 94 points. Uh, she really is a lovely bird indeed. But uh, all the different pides that they have here, but I think one of the things that's notable is the size. They really do have a tremendous size to them. Some excellent, excellent show birds here indeed. Uh, for any of you that are looking for zebra finches, uh, I think you'd do well to come here and just see some of the quality of the birds that are here today. Jeff, Last time you were at the Worlds, first time you uh, you entered, you were on the score sheet there. Now, come on, just refresh my memory. What what, what was it you had? Um, I won a bronze out there with the stem, which you know oh, is that's, four. That's, that's four birds. That's phenomenal. That's four birds. Yeah, and I thought, for, you know, I was very pleased. Yeah. And there was um, sixteen in that class. Uh, I do believe a silver today. Yeah, silver there. Yeah, silver. Quite a you know nice little small bird. They got to be kept quite small you know but they you please sometimes they, yeah, I am, yeah yes 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 L lovely looking bird no i, I understand it uh, a good friend of yours just tipped you at the yeah, post yeah yeah when it comes to the finches the diamond sparrow i always thought was a, a wonderful looking bird with the spotting on its chest the hess grass finch was a, again another beautiful bird well, one thing you can say about these cage birds is is the condition of these birds is just absolutely unbelievable they are so well looked after so fit already for the breeding season java sparrows have always been a been a favorite in the uk um, and well represented here at the show. We've got the traditional greys over to my left, we've got the whites, and we've also got the beige. Beige is rather a pretty bird. And one of the things that you also notice here at the show, they're all closed rung, so that means they are actually bred by the person that's showing them. 
Natalie, a, a, a fabulous McCall that we've got in front of us, and so affectionate. Yeah. Now, come on, just explain how you can tr these these animals become so attached to you. If they're hand raised, you can get them really tame. The thing is, the trick is, if, if you have a Macau in the house, it's, it's better that they learn how to play oh, yeah. by themselves. And if, they, if you have time for them, you can play with them. But it is, yeah, give them a lot of love. Um, try to work with them with respect. So if you be, ask them to step up, don't force them. You need to do it very slowly. Yeah? Don't never force a bird. That, that, way, that way you keep your respect. So come on, explain. What, what, do, do you take, do you take um, parrots in that have got uh, behavioural problems? Yes. Um, sometimes people have uh, parrots who bite, oh, yeah. um, scream. Mostly it's because of the, the feeding. Yeah, the, um, the food is uh, too strong with the egg whites. So I don't know how you say it in English. Right? Yeah, yeah, no, that's good. Um, the thing is, um, if they're, it's too rich, they start screaming, they start biting, they start getting aggressive behaviour oh, right. because um, house kept birds are not breeding birds, no, sure. so the food is too rich. And if you, and I get, suppose they're not yeah. sort of exercising yes. enough to sort of wear it's it like off. It's like a child who gets Coca-Cola before he goes to sleep, <laughs> gets really excited, and it's a bit the same. So the yeah. behaviour problems in the house is because mostly the food is too rich. And do, and do you have clients that bring yes. bring birds to you, and you look after them and sort of? Yes, yes. I um I do therapy for about six weeks. They really have screaming birds. I try to really get the food good yes. because um, I try to put them on pellets. Yes. And if they're on pellets, you can you see that they have um, the vitamins, the minerals, everything that they need. Yes. But the thing is, many people are say, "Oh, poor baby, he has not eaten all day because he does not want to eat." So they come to me and I, tr I teach them how to take different foods. Very interesting. Thanks very much indeed for your time. That's all right. Paul, just to explain about the lipochrome section. Yeah, that's here. a five. That's another English variety, and it should be a nice bird. But uh, the breed, the artery, where do I have to put it in? If it's lightly or heavily variegated. If you see it on top, the, above it looks more dark than than clear. But look, all the rest of the body underneath, it's more clear than dark. Yes, yeah, it is. So it should be in what we call lightly variegated color. Lightly variegated. And just to explain the, vari the, the different variants there on the, on the Norwich again, because we've got one that's slightly slightly more orange than the other, and, and again, slightly different variegation, isn't yeah. it? He has more orange than dark feathers. Okay, so that's, and that's, that's, more, that's, that's more, what we call... More orange than dark yeah, feathers. That's under the 50% melanin. Under 50% under dark, and that's just over the 50%. So he has to go in another class. What you see here, they are only the Belgium judges because we like to inform, to give the right information to the Belgium judges. That's my responsibility. Now, Richard, a magnificent event here in Russell Air in Belgium, the Golden Ring Show. I mean, what have we got? Five, five and a half thousand? 5,700 close rung birds. I started off bringing 25 birds, and this year we brought 270 Good. from UK, all different species. I mean, come on, let's, uh, it, your particular breed here, Gloucester. But, but, but my birds are bred to the English standard, which is a smaller type Gloucester, where over in uh, Europe they go for a bigger type Gloucester bird. Sort of more cobbier type. More, co type. more cobbier, 
heavier, bigger, bigger bird, bigger body. Okay, now, now out of these, which one is your favourite? I feel like it's that, that one. one that one's my the best bird I've bred this year. It's bred out of some birds from a Belgian breeder, but I've not actually got the weight on the body. Where my friend there from well, England, that, like this one here. that is another English breeder's bird, slightly bigger. When I say bigger, more cobbier bird, but still not big enough for the uh, to win. But it's still a very good bird. I it, mean, English wise, I mean, uh, have we had some success on the Gloucesters with the with the English cats? We've all, we've only won one silver and a bronze, but you've got to be in it to win it. Well, I, I, we, we use that term a bit loose. We only won a silver and a bronze. I mean, let's I know, get that's that in. That's, that's, I mean, yes, that's yeah, that, that is still good. But the organisers of this show are fantastic. They can't do enough for you. Rick, you and Richard go back a long time. What, yeah. What's the fundamental differences between the Gloucesters that you're breeding over here and the ones that Richard's breeding back in the UK? Well, I, I think uh, in the Belgian birds, they have more type birds and uh, more body in, 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 the, in, the, in the bird. And the English bird, they, they breed more uh, on the feather quality. Oh, right. So we tried, of course, we tried to do body and feather but the, this is not so easy because uh, if you want to have a big body you you, you need uh, more feather so and um, and and if you want to have a, a very nice feather bird you lost a lot body so right. we we but try this is length is it we this try is the sort of make, making it a copy yes bird. we try to breed uh, and and balance of course yeah. and the first thing is a gloucester he he needs to small he have a, a limit from 11 and a half centimeter but not one bird this okay now just explain this to the general public uh, this is a limit is this from the sort of the tip of the beak to the tail or from the yeah top of yeah the head? from the top of the beak to the end of the tail yeah and uh, this is a standard there is always a standard so we try to breed like that but uh, it's not so easy to no no so, come on, are the belgian birds better than the british birds or is it no, the I, british I, birds are no, better than no. the belgian birds you have you have a lot of good birds in and uh, Brittany, and you have a lot of good birds in belgium so yeah. but one thing is all the best birds they came lots of years from england <laughs> we bought all the good birds there you and bought all the good birds yeah, over yeah, here yeah 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 and and the years 80, 85, 90, all the best they are in England. The breeding of chaffinches is still very, very popular. The um, Flemish developed a song contest, and what they would do, they have a special cage whereby the birds are trained to sing, and they pull up the front flap, and then the owners sit behind the boxes, and every time the bird warbles, it's noted. The, the interesting thing behind this is, is they're all sat in a line, the distance is about 2.6 yards between them, and it's timed over a one hour. Over that one hour, some of these birds can warble up to a thousand times. It's absolutely phenomenal. There's no prize to this other than may, maybe a small trophy, and, and in most cases, a small bunch of flowers is the prize but it is extremely popular even today. Well, as you can see, these are the bird cages and uh, the birds are housed in the main box and there's also a secondary box which is for the bathing. And it's, and, it's, and it's most important that they don't actually handle the birds. Now, what they have on the front section here is they have a pull-out slide. Let's put that to one side. Then we've also got the glass that slides out. Make sure we don't damage that. And then as you can see, the bird is inside the cage. And by removing those slides, encourages the bird to sing. Now when the bird then, the bathing section clips onto the rear, they pull up the slide at the rear, the bird pops in, it can then bathe, they can then drop that down, bird stays in there, can bath, put that back in there and the bird goes back into its house. And the bird will stay there for a period of time, during its training. When you walk down through the new colours, there's some fabulous colours, but I, I really don't think you can beat the strong orange, the intensive red. It's a credit to the breeders. Very, very fit bird indeed. New colours are very popular abroad. One thing, one that you don't see too often is the, is, is a bit more of a lemon colour. They're very popular over here, and I have to say, they really do catch the eye, and they're very nice indeed. Luke, Elizabeth, an amazing show. Now, just explain, how many years have you been making the rings and the pins? 
uh, is it 12 years? Almost uh, 12 years he's making uh, these rings. Now, uh, am I right in saying these are handmade? Yes, yes, totally handmade. Yes, yes, so yes, he yes. have uh, created them and they, uh, they have made it him totally himself. Now, Luke, the pin. What, where did the idea come from? The from the pin. Is it, it was it your design? Does it change each year? So uh, the sign stays all uh, each year. It's the same um, sign, but uh, he made it each year again. The actual rings. They they're actually gold, silver, and bronze. Yeah. So here you can see from the left to the right is the golden, the silver, and the bronze ring. And and the actual the actual writing that's on them. What what does it say? Uh, it's for each type of. Um, Ah, it's for each set. It's for each section. So we've got the canaries and we've got yeah, the finches. Yeah. I understand. So this is the reason why we have so many at the at the bottom of them. Each one of those represents each section. Is that correct? It's correct. Yeah. It's like Goodness me, you must have been very busy doing the engraving. Yeah, yeah. 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 <laughs> it takes a lot of time. Yes. It's, it's, uh, yeah. Yeah. Well, look. Thank you very much indeed for showing them. Uh, the presentations uh, are going to be coming up soon, and we're looking forward to that. Thanks very much indeed. As you can see, Gary Mann is uh, just put, putting his hand in there. What they do is they, uh, they're removing the birds from the show cages and then the birds will go into their overseas carrion boxes so they get nice and settled. They're ideal compartments for the birds. But more importantly, they're now starting to tick off the paperwork because nobody can move any of the uh, birds until all the paperwork's correct. Now, what happens is from the staging, they will have an overseer from the clubs will remove them from the staging, the guys from England will have a trolley, they tick it off on the paperwork onto the trolley, the trolleys then come over to the staging desks and then the, the, the guys from the UK then tick the paperwork off for a second time and then they start to put the birds in the boxes. Then the boxes are then ready to um, transport them away. You can see Richard there, they're, they're now starting to, um, to load the, the crates up. And the birds are perfectly happy in there, they're fed, watered, they'll be nice and settled, no issues for their uh, return journey to the UK.